Um, hello everybody, um, this is your favorite YouTuber Luke, back right again after two months of being gone. I did say though that I wanted to take a long huge break, and luckily I did, just not as long like three months. Probably like uh, two months and a week to be precise. So, um, I'm very I'm glad to be back here for a little while. And I've been hoping to give you guys a small little update for this channel that I'm planning to do here. And some unfortunate um things that happened in my life. Yeah, so it's probably is going to be a while at the end. But I'll just, let's get straight to the first update. First of all though, it's the new plan, so like replacing the newest intro and my profile picture. It does look very good though, but it's really really old and I believe that the animator who worked on this is no longer doing stuff on his own channel again. So I'm going to probably plan on finding some new like animator to to commission a like five second long intro and I believe I might even find another person to do a definitive like profile picture for this YouTube channel so it's pretty much gonna be like that anyways um uh, besides that though I actually did had a few YouTube poops unlisted that I did while on break so right now it's gonna I'm gonna be uh, uploading some unlisted videos for this channel and so I hope you will enjoy it because one of them is a big huge Simpsons YouTube poop on Homer's enemy and two of them are for a pie related collab like Freeport 1-4 <laughs> I bet you all know what it is and so I'm gonna try to work on some new poops later on even for collabs and I and plan on hoping to work on an original poop for this channel a little bit. It has really been a real long time since 2017 since I ever made an original poop that ain't collaborated. Now for the somewhat big announcement is I have a new collab that I'm going to be announcing in a few days later on. I don't know when. I don't... I'll let you all know though when it's announced, but I believe all you Simpsons fans are gonna really love this one. And then later on though is my long-awaited overdue on planning on another review. This was a, a review for Super Lucky Sale and New Super Lucky Sale. This was a long overdue um, plan that I was planning on doing. Uh, around last year to compare the two original games the original super lucky sale and what what went wrong with it well at least what i like about it and what but it's also going to be a review on the new super lucky sale what it did to improve things what it did to improve the visuals on the switch to pc and that will pretty much be be what I'm gonna be doing on the second entry. All right, so um, I did save this thing for the end though, cause it's kind of like a bit personal for me, and um, and I'm not really sure, and I'm pretty sure though that I won't have any trouble talking about this, although I might. Um, you must have saw the um, artwork that I actually posted last month about somebody here with something about super important to me. Um, around like January though, I did got COVID, which is unfortunate for me. But to be honestly fair here though, it wasn't a big problem for me. I did live through it, through the house, a lot of few of my um, neighbors or nephews was able to like like support me and they were very great to me but then um dad my father which i believe which i'll call him kent i usually don't usually bring up some real important life to me because like i it's not like they're like i want to keep their secret history but like i just is yeah, i didn't really feel like it's 
are is very important to talk about some personal life since you know it's not really interesting to talk about but that that has been been working a lot for a family throughout the years he owned like a big factory and um some other stuff he does some like electronics for for some companies as well and he's been and a lot of stuff has been happening though he bought me a new car and he's planning to planning to help planning me to help help fix the car that he bought for me and he was gonna test gonna um, teach me how to drive there this year it was great though but then later on though unfortunately around January when I got COVID uh, I am not sure if it was because of what uh, if he got COVID or not but like um I believe it is but like um that has been uh having trouble breathing. He's been coughing so badly and um he was not feeling so well. So mom had to like take him to the doctor and it turns out that he had a really bad like throat infection which thanks to some thanks to the disease and so he had so they had to like put him on a invibulator or like a machine so he might be able to heal pretty good. So it went very well. I had, I felt like he's just going to get better just like how everybody else is. It was going to be the fact though. Mom has been visiting um, dad a couple of times including my dad's sister. And everything was going fine. It wasn't so badly. But then, unfortunately, something unfortunate happened. Something, I believe, he was, the infection got worse. His brain somehow even started to bleed really badly. Um, and he was having trouble, and his heart was having trouble beating. And we, we... We didn't know how could I mean, we didn't know that this would happen to him, and he he definitely was not he the doctors know realized this and he, they told us that he probably wasn't gonna like live for a little longer than he than we thought we would. So we got the rest of the family, my two. Well, me and my two my two brothers came to visit and came and planned to like bring us try to like bring us to dad so we can see him for the last time before he went away tomorrow. Unfortunately, on January fourth, uh, it, it turns out the his pain got worse and he. he it turns out that he was losing 16% of breathing. His, it, it was looked like we we were planning on heading to the hospital. And he and planning to the visit the hospital very early than intended. And um and we tr we did try that but it, it wasn't but we were waiting to go but <laughs> Uh, he didn't make it. He, he 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 passed away, and we didn't even get to say say goodbye before he left. <clears throat> oh. oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so that's why well, I was very upset today. And everybody who who was there for him were very upset that he had to pass away. <laughs> so that's that was unfortunately the end for my dad. And and so we set up a funeral for him a few days later on, and then we. Then we lower him into his grave and we made 
and we believe that, that he's doing good up in heaven. <sighs> I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. It's it's a little emotional for me to feel that, but if you, but before you, just to let you know that I'm okay and I'm feeling a little better now. I do, um, I do hope he's happy up in heaven, too, and I hope he's happy to see his mom up there as well. And that's pretty much all I have to say now. Um, well, I know it wasn't the greatest thing to mention here, but that's all I have to tell you all what has been happening over January and February. So, well, that's pretty much it for the update video as well. Oh, wait, hang on a second. I think I did almost forgot about the monthly art again. I did went back and did some monthly art as well. And, uh, and this year I am planning to do something Teddy related for Persona from the Persona 4 game. For the entirety of 2022. And today, this month though, is a re-release of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. On PC, PS4, and Switch. <laughs> so, I hope you two are looking forward to that. As the entire, as the entire year goes by. Well, that's it for the update video. I hope you all are having a great 2022 here today. And as always, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.